saw a prophesy as he commanded them. And the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. <laughs> Trying to reach the people, sculptors, naysayers, you hypocrites. And keep it one damn law, you're on the with your lips. Blind guys leading the blind into a pit. You two fold the child of hell, then your pastor is. Once some people with no mercy, we will bash the kids. All praises to the father, we've been reconciled. We birth resurrected and regenerated. Sin using flesh, cover bones that were naked. This holy Bible is the antidote to heal the people. But we still some stiff neck and rebellious children. Because he just read a scripture, Matthew 24, I believe. No, I think it was 24. No, yeah, 15, 24. And Jesus was talking to a woman who was in the Israel. Back then she was in the Syrian Israel. Yeah, that's right. So, so. Uh -huh. so, according to what Jesus said, I was only sent to the, uh, to the Lord Sheep of Israel. Why didn't he even deal with it? Why didn't he do her at all? She acknowledges him. She acknowledges him. Yeah, but so, but if he's only sent, he didn't say it. Yeah, but if he's only sent to the Israelites, why would he even deal with that person? Whether they acknowledge him or not. Same thing. Because, because, think about it. Think about the plot. You can ask him. Think about it. Say you're very proud. You're very proud. And you're proud, you're not gonna admit that pride, right? If you admit that pride, and we know you, and know that you're pride, that'd be a big thing, wouldn't it? Admitted that, we'll be shocked or amazed. It's the same feeling, right? Right? Like, hey, she admitted she a dog, and go ahead, go ahead home. Your daughter, she good. It's the same thing, right? But, but salvation is above. She wasn't promised the kingdom. She wasn't given the kingdom. She's not being saved. You know what it means to be saved? Give me that little bit. Hold on. Bring it out. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna go down. Okay, but, but let's go you answer your question. Let's go with the Gentiles first. Go deal with the Gentiles. Yeah, yeah. get that. Because, because you said that you said something about um you said not I everybody read it saved. To you. I'm talking too much, I wanna read it to you. Okay. You said not everybody saved. Nah. Remember that remember when you were talking to the centurion? And the centurion. No, 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 no. It was the centurion that wanted him to heal this his, his, his Yes. No, no, he wanted him to heal his servant. Yeah, right, right. Now remember what he said to his disciples. He says that um, he says many will come from the west, he says from the east to the west and north. He was saving his own people. No, he but he said he was healing his own people. But he said up they were the Up so until that thing and that woman, right? He was healing his own people. She was she was that um she was that anomaly that came. Yeah. That the disciples was like, get her away from us. She's crying after us, Christ. Yeah. Because right. she saw the good work that they were doing. Right. She admitted that she was a dog. That's why he said, all right, I'm going to heal your daughter. What about no. the centurion? The centurion, centurion was an Israelite. Everybody else before that, Israelites. He was an Israelite. Yes, he was. Well, prove well, to me that he wasn't. Okay, so, I'm going to prove it to you. Give, give me the scripture. Okay. What, what, uh, uh, what, what scripture was that? Luke 1. I want 68. Book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Bless be the Lord God of Israel. Of who, brother? Of Israel. Of who, brother? Of Israel. So it makes a clear distinction who the Lord God of Israel is. Yeah. Right. Come on. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. The Lord God visited and redeemed his people, the Israelites. Right. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. So it, the us there is the Israelites. The horn of salvation is Christ. Mm -hmm. That was raised up for who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He visited and redeemed his people. His people. It's very possessive word. Yes. Come on. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. Have raised up a horn of salvation for us. 
us. Okay. The us there is the Israelites. That's right. Three. In the house of his servant David. They came in the house of his servant David. Right. Come on. As Christ came from who? The seed of David. Yeah. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Because Christ was spoken about in the old covenant and in the new covenant. Come on. That we. That who? That we. The Israelites. Should be saved from our enemies. That's salvation, brother. That we should be saved from our enemies. Come on. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. So God only made for the Israelites. Right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You're 100% correct. Right. Well, you got to deal with Acts 10, 34, and 35. Bring it down with any scripture you want to okay. deal with. Bring it out. Acts 10 is talking about Corn that's Cornelius, bro. No, no, 10, 34, and 35. Specific. We can deal with, we can deal with whatever you want to I, deal I'll with. I'll read it for you. Give me go up to Matter of fact, I quote Amos 3 and 1. I quote it. Let me quote it for you. No, hold on, hold on. Amos 3 and 1. Book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Uh -huh. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, uh -huh. and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. That's very possessive, brother. Okay. Can I read That's very possessive. Can I read Acts 10, is that not very possessive? Yeah. What does that mean? He's only for Israel, right? You don't read Acts 10. But what does that mean? Yeah, he said he's only for yeah. Israel. What does that mean? He said, read it again. Let me hear it again. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The whole earth gonna know that God is in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord your God, Israel. So he's specifically the God of Israel. That's it. And none. That's what that Bible says. Okay, okay. When did that change? Acts 10, 34 and 35. Read Acts 10, 34. Bro! Matter of fact, I'll read it for you. I'll read it. Let me read it. Okay. Ah, you hold that. Acts 10, 34 and 35. Then I want you to read. Listen, he says, Then Peter began to speak. Now I realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one that fears him and does what is right. I want you to read it. Acts chapter 10, verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. He's what? Hold no on, respecter man. of persons. Read the rest. Read it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to deal with that. Now hold on. So the Bible <laughs> says God is not a respecter of persons, right? Read it. No, read on, read on. Yeah, read on. Verse 35. Read this. But in every nation. But in every nation. Come on. He that feareth him. He that feareth him. And worketh righteousness. And worketh righteousness. It's very heavy what is being said right yes. here. Right. So he said. Hold on. Hold your man. Shut your mouth. Yeah. What's your Brian, name? Brian. Brian, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth for one second. No. Okay. We're going to read this. This script. is the scripture you want. Yeah. Hold your peace. Shut your mouth. We're going to explain it. Right. This is the problem here. We're going to explain what the yeah, problem is. Read that real fast. Read it again. No, don't interrupt, brother. No, go ahead. We got scripture to un give you understand what this means. Okay. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 34 and 35. Come on. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, uh -huh. Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. So what we're going to do here, we're going to read this all the way through. Yeah. Then we're going to explain what this is talking about. Okay. Come on. But in every nation, uh -huh. he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. What's yeah. your name was again? Brian. 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 I'm Kazak Brian. Okay. I've seen you before. Yeah, I've yeah. I've seen you before. Uh, hold on. Jump back. Jump back. Read it again. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 34. Come on. Then Peter opened his mouth uh -huh. and said, of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of it says God is not a respected person. Did God respect any other nation? What nation did God respect? Bring it out! He respected what? He respected Israel. But it shows that he's no respect of person. No, no, no. That's in judgment. Huh? That's having a respect of person in regards to judgment. God has respect of Israel. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 15. Come on. He shall do unright, no unrighteousness in judgment. You should do what, brother? No unrighteousness in judgment. So we're supposed to judge righteously. God is not going to judge us unrighteously for a sin that we commit. Right. So say, for instance, we commit adultery. It's judgment for that. And that's righteous judgment for you to get AIDS, gonorrhea, herpes, for uh, the dude to come and kill you. Right. That's righteous judgment. Right. God is not unrighteous in his judgment. That's all that's saying. Now right. jump back. No, no, that's not all Give me that. Saying. Give me that. Yes, it is. Chapter 2, verse 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel. So he has respect. Come on. And God has respect unto them. So God has respect unto the children of Israel. That's right. God has respect unto the children of Israel. Right. 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 He's not a respected person in regards to judgment. He don't care who you are. Right. Because Moses, Moses couldn't walk into the promised land because of what he did. Right. You understand? God killed everybody on this earth except Noah and his son. Because right. they don't respect the person. Yo, we go right to the scripture. Okay. Come on.
brother? Acts chapter 10, verse 35. Come on. But in every nation. But in every nation. Let's deal with that every nation. Why are we in every nation, brother? No, no, don't say that Israelites are in every nation, and then therefore he's only dealing with Israelites. I want that second. He says every nation. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. The Lord shall do what, brother? Shall scatter you among the nations. So the Israelites will be scattered among the nations. That's why, go to Acts 10 again. The book of Acts chapter 10, verse 35. Uh -huh. But in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness. So it says in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness. The other nations can't work it. Work, work righteousness. Why, why not? Righteousness? Why not? Why, why can't we're going to show you why. Give me Deuteronomy 625. I want Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Come on. And it shall be our righteousness. Let's see what righteousness is first. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. So, the other nations can't keep the commandments because the commandments weren't given to the other nations. To hey! That's why they can't keep righteousness. Right. Let's, let's read that. Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. He showed his word unto Jacob. Who was Jacob? Jacob, he was the uh Look at the sign. His name was changed to what? His name was changed to Israel. And he's the father of who? He's the father of uh, Israelites. Twelve times, right? So he showed his word, this Bible, unto who? Who did he give his Bible to? Who did he give this Bible to? He specifically gave it to the Israelites, but you, you guys still have okay. it. So hold he on. Hold on, you guys. We're going through the scripture now. Oh, we're giving you, you precept upon okay, precept what it means, brother. Listen, brother, we're praying. You guys you're praying, right? You guys still haven't proven that the the black the African the black the That's not the question you asked. No, right. I asked that you, question, you, brother. Before. You are asking. I, I, you didn't ask me that question. We're dealing with the question you asked, okay, bro. We're dealing with the question you asked. Yeah, go ahead. Stop asking a million questions before your first question is answered. I don't think you got Commandments were given unto Israel. Come on. Verse 20. He have not done so with any nation. He didn't give the other nations nothing. He gave the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible to the Israelites. That's right. right. Okay. And, and as for his judgment, and that's for the judgments, meaning the penalties for breaking God's laws, right. they have not known them. They don't know the judgment of God. That's right. right. They haven't seen the judgment of God. Right. Right. That, Psalms 147, 19 and 20. That's what we just read. Okay. Now, go back to uh, Acts 10. Verse 34 again. Look at Acts chapter 10, verse 34. Read it real slow so now we can piece together what this means. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. So, what this is talking about, when you read the book of Acts 10, it's bringing the northern kingdom of Israel back into the fold. That's what this is talking about. Right. Because before this, before this time, the northern kingdom was cast out as Gentiles. Right. Because they were partaking in the customs of the Gentiles. Now, when Peter, Paul, when the, uh, the apostles went to the northern kingdom, they said, okay, we can grasp them back in. When you read the book of 1 Kings chapter 12, there was a split in the tribes of Israel. You got you to gotta know the history before well, you can understand this. So it was a split. The northern kingdom, the southern kingdom wasn't messing with the northern kingdom. They were committing idolatry and wickedness, bro. They won't, we won't deal with the northern kingdom. That's the ten tribes from Ephraim down. Mm -hmm. The southern kingdom is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. We was dealing with ourselves, still in the laws, dealing like that, man. So when you go to Acts 10, it's talking about bridging, them bridging the gap and making Israel one again, one right. nation whole again. Brother, Not all nations. Okay, okay. Give me the, first Corinthians. I don't care what the brother said. Listen, Give me first Corinthians 12. One your, well, listen, one of the brothers said that the, the Gentiles were scattered into other nations, right? And these are the Israelites. First Corinthians 12. How do you distinguish between the Israelites and the Gentiles? You still haven't answered that question. Verse 2. The book of First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Uh -huh. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Carry the... Hold on, you were what? Gentiles. So this is a letter that Paul wrote to the church of Corinth. He said that you were Gentiles. Come on. Carried away unto these dumb idols. When you were committing idolatry. This is a letter written to the Israelites. Now, somebody give me the Zordomist Compact well, Bible Dictionary. In, in, in Greek, right? Give me the Zordomist Compact Bible Dictionary. 
Let's see what Gentile means. These were Greeks before Corinth. No, the Corinth, the Church of Corinth were Israelites. That's right. The Church of Ephesus they were, not were Israelites. Israelites. Chapter 10, 10 and 1. Read chapter 10 and 1. Read chapter 10 and 1. The book of First Corinthians. You gotta, hold on. I want you to get me Psalms 111 verse 10. This is the Bible with you right here. Come on. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 1. Because you're standing, you're standing in front of teachers. You are not a teacher. That's you're right. standing in front of teachers. Right. Learn men of this Bible try to tell them, well, nah, nah, that's not what that means. That's not, you, you ever seen somebody go to school and tell their teacher, no teacher, you're teaching it wrong. That's not what it means. I've been reading the Bible since 10 years old. Come on. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 1. Let's pray pray for me, show you why. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant. Moreover, brethren, this is Paul writing to his brothers. I would not have you ignorant, brothers. Come on. How that all our fathers are oh, our fathers. This is a letter to the church of Corinth. All our fathers, come on, were under the cloud. Under what cloud? What cloud? What cloud are you talking about? Somebody in uh, Exodus. In the wilderness. So who was in the cloud, under the cloud in, in Exodus? Yeah. What nation of people? So, so, so who was he writing to? <laughs> You're trying to say. Who was Read it again. Bring it out. Read it again. First Corinthians chapter 10, again. verse 1. Moreover, brethren. Uh huh. I would not that ye should be ignorant. Because our people are very ignorant. Come on. How that all our fathers. All of our fathers. Uh -huh. were, all the Israelite fathers. Come on. Were under the cloud. We were all under the cloud. In the wilderness like you just said in Exodus. Right. Yeah. And all passed through the sea. All of our fathers passed through the sea. Right. Who is this talking about? The Israelites. That's right. right. Three. Verse 2. And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud. And we're all what? Baptized unto Moses in the cloud. We were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud. Given the law, that's the commandments. Right. The Israelites was given that. Right. Not no other nation. Right. So, yeah. Come on. Hold on, hold on. And in the sea. And in the sea. We walked through the doggone Red Sea. The Israelites did that. Right. No other that's nation. Right. So that's why you, but you don't know what you're talking about. Listen, okay. I don't care. You read the Bible since you were 10 years old. That's Listen, baloney. Listen. I'm going to show you why. I, I can prove Read. it. Right now. Chapter 111, wrong. verse 10. Read uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if any man out here wants to be wise, if you want wisdom, you must fear God. Right. That's right. Fear God is going to make you do what? Keep the commandments. That's right. 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 Come on. A good understanding. If you want a good understanding of the Bible, it don't mean you're going to read it since you were 10 years old. Right. It's prerequisites to get an understanding. Mm -hmm. Let's see what those prerequisites are, brother. Okay. Come of on. all they that do his commandments. Uh oh. You were keeping the commandments at 10 years old? No. Are you keeping the commandments now? Go on yeah. say no. Leviticus 21 and 5. Bro! Give me Numbers 15 and 38. The book, of, the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Come on. They shall not make bonus. They shall not what? 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 Make bonus. This is the commandment of God. That's right. If you fear God, you're going to do what? Not make bonus upon their head. On your head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall you shave off the corner of your beard. That's right. Bro, I like your beard, bro. Hold on. Let me we got this a full out. beard. Check this out. What about this man that's been reading the Bible since he was 10 years old? Bring it out. Watch this. Hey, do we still got the corners of his beard? Hell no. So what's that telling you? I seen the He's video not keeping the commandments. Things. That's right. He's yeah, not keeping the commandments. Right. He's got a bald head. Not keeping the commandments. What? Where he at? Huh? No, where I seen I seen y'all videos. What? Where he at? I seen a dude. He had oh, a beard. so you? Oh, so and he oh, got a bald, a bald head. head. A beard and a bald so head. Why does he shave his head if he's keeping the commandments? What you mean he shaved his head? You shaving your head? No. Right. Let's deal with you shaving your head. No. So you, you ain't got no dude. Let's, let's deal with you with your hat on. You ain't got no. Give me that first commandment. Listen, you ain't got no guys in your group that got a bald head. No. Read. The book of Numbers, really? Really? chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. God is telling us, command, talk to the children of Israel, Moses. And bid them. And bid, meaning command them. Command them Listen, what, brother? Let them make know he the lied. fringes in the borders of their garments. Can they do what, brother? Make them fringes in the borders of their garments. What are fringes? What are fringes? Scholar, from 10 years old, what's fringes? What's fringes? fringes? Yeah, what's fringes? The fringes is for the Jews who are... The Israelites were. Yeah, they, they no, no, no. So if you say Jews, if you say Jews, the Jewish truck for Tito. Let me help you out. No, I already 
Let me help you out, Tio. I know. Let me help you out, Tio. Yeah, yeah. Jew is short for Judah. That's the top three times. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right. Okay, let's go. That's that's who the Jews. That's who the Jews are. The Jews today. Who are the Jews today? You said they what? Who are the Jews? I know you guys. No. Stop. Stop the damn lying. I'm tired of you bastards lying, man. Who are the Jews? Who are the Jews today? You don't know. You ever seen them, them white people with squiggly curly hair with right. black all black on? Yeah, yeah. They call themselves what? Jewish. Why they call themselves Jewish? Bring it up. They wish they were the Jews. That's right. right. They wish they were the Jews, bruh. Ish means like. So if I say I'm coming to your house at about five ish, am I coming at five? I'm coming like five or around five. They're not the true Jews. That's right. They're not the true Jews, but that's what we think the Jews are. So every guy in y'all group is keeping the commandments? Yes. Come okay. On. Hold on. What about the dude with the, the ball head? Book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. You hear this, you hear this bag of bomb right here, man? Do he worried about everybody else head. except him. Right. He, they got a dude that You see this? He worried about everybody else except him. You see a man out here with a ball head? Matter of fact, I see two You see a brother out here with a ball head? Show Listen, me a brother with a ball head. There's dudes in that group that got ball heads, but they say you got to keep the commandments. Corrupt. You got to have a Free. ball head, right? So, Free. these guys are hypocrites. Speak right? unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? The children of Israel. Boss, I'm talking to you. You seen me with a ball head? No, but the, the, Do you see me with a ball head? It's air so am I being a hypocrite when I'm correcting you according to the scriptures? The am I being a hypocrite when I'm correcting you according to the scriptures? But the guy with the ball head? Am I correcting you? No. When we're dealing with the scriptures. The guy with the ball so head. So speak is. to me. I ain't got no damn ball head. You but I'm telling you, you are evil as hell. No. That's what I'm telling you. You fuck right. out your damn mind. Guys, they don't bald your head nor shave the corners of your beard. So, I'm dealing with you. So this is how Christ I'm keeping looks. the commandments. Is this how Christ is looks? Is this how Christ looks Look. with a shaved off beard and bald head? Bring it out. Is this how Christ is looks? Is that how Christ looks with a shaved off beard and bald head? Bring it you out. tell me. Is that how Christ looks? You tell me. Is that how Christ looks? Is that how Christ looks? You get emotional. We can prove that with the scriptures. I'm not getting emotional. I want to see it. I'm not getting emotional. See, that's what soft men think. When you get loud, that's emotion. Nah, we bold his lines out here. Bro. Hey, hey, hey! Read what you got. This is proof of Chapter 32, Shut your and learn. verse 17. A sinful man. A what kind of man? Sinful man. Brother who's clearly in the midst of sin. We lined your sin up like you lined up your dog on bed. Right. We lined you up. A sinful man will not, what? Will not be reproved. You will not be corrected. Mm -hmm. But do what? What do they do, brother? What? Find him an excuse. Do what, brother? Find him an excuse. Well, you got a ball head. You, just you got me. somebody in your crew with a ball head. So I'm not keeping the commandments because I got a ball head. No, you're head. not keeping the commandments. So the, uh, the dude in your crew. No, you're not, not keeping, keeping the commandments. Show me the dude with a, with a ball head in my crew. Why it's true, man? Why are you lying? Who lying? It's true. You bugged out your damn mind. We keep the commandments here, bro. Right. We keep the commandments here, bro. Listen, why are you denying that this dude got a ball head? Just admit okay. that he don't keep his commandments. Yeah, finish that. Throw up, chapter 32, verse 17. Come on. A sinful man. What kind of man? Sinful what man. Kind, what kind of man? Sinful man. A sinful man with what? Will not be reproved. You can't correct the simple, brother. They know everything. They got all the answers. It's clearly in front of them, but they don't want to correct themselves. Come on. But find them an excuse. He's finding what? An excuse. So we just debunked that Acts 10. The, the, the madness doctrine he's trying to push. Now he's talking about another brother with a bald head. Right. So, That's madness. Come on. But find him an excuse according to his will. We'll do what? But find him an excuse according to his will. So they're going to find excuses according to his own will to justify what he's doing. That's right. You're trying to find an excuse to justify what you're doing. So do cancer patients who lose their hair, are they breaking the commandments? That's commandment? a different situation. That's Give me that different. in a minute. They got a bald head, let right? Me get that in, let me get that. If you start to lose your head, the Bible talks about that as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mr. Scholar, okay, since you were 10 years old. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 40. Because they ain't shaving, they ain't cutting their dog on head. You are. Mm -hmm. right. They're not cutting their head. Yeah. That's something that they can't control. You're, do you're doing something willfully. You're sinning willfully. Right. They can't do it. They can't so, help with do so it. So if I'm losing my hair, that means... A man! Yeah, you're not supposed to cut the rest over that's on there. Right. right. I'm supposed Come to walk on. around... A man! Ball yes. Yes. And, and yes. 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 Are you serious? Yes. Free. A man whose hair is falling off his head. A man's hair that's falling off. He is bald, yet is he clean. He's bald. If your hair fall off in the spot, yes, you're clean. His brother's hair is falling out right now. Look at his brother right here. That brother right there. His hair is falling out. But he's clean. Why is he clean? He's not taking a razor to his dog on hair shaking it. I'm going to get the commandments. So, let me ask you this question. And he that have his hair falling 
thumb from the part of his head toward his face. So his forehead, all this hair right here, that we have a receding hairline. People have, they move their hair right up in this area, this region. He is forehead bald. The Bible calls you forehead bald. It don't tell you that, okay, if you forehead bald, you can go ahead and cut the rest off. So if I'm, if so, yeah, so if I get a bald head, clean. so you're clean if you allow that that part right there that so, grow. Okay, so if I got a bald head, uh -huh. right, and I'm living righteously, but I, no, 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 if you're balding, if you're balding and you keeping the hair that you get, you no, grow. Okay, what if I? Okay, what if, if I cut my hair? Listen, 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 listen. Don't, don't. All this all hypothetical stuff. If you are bald, this is what the Bible is saying. Okay. If you are going bald, right? Mm -hmm. You're going bald. Wherever you go bald, as long as you don't cut the rest of your hair, you are clean. That's right. Okay. If you cut the rest of your hair, you're wet. So if you're I unclean. If, so if I cut my hair, I'm I'm breaking the commandments, right? If you shave your head bald, shave yes. It, I'm breaking the commandments. That's what the Bible. But what if I'm living righteously though? You're not living righteously. So so you can't live righteously and shave your head bald. Right. So, so you said I can't again. live righteously and shave my head bald. Read it again. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. You gotta do all the commandments to be righteous. So your confusion probably is coming in, but I don't think you understand what sin is. Let's see what sin is. Look at first John, chapter three, verse four. So what is sin? Out here, correct our people right. to show you where you're going off. So, if I'm, I still don't understand if I'm living righteously, but I cut my head bald. That's not living righteously. That's so what you're saying. If I just cut my head bald, I'm not living righteously. Exactly. That's what the Bible says. Even though if I might be living righteously in that's other areas. That's what the Bible is saying. Give me uh. So, if I'm, if I'm treating women right, I'm treating my brothers right now, nah, I'm, right. uh, yeah, I'm not living commit. righteously, though I cut my head bald. Give me that brief here. This is a Zunder Compact Bible Dictionary beer. Beer. A badge of manly dignity. What is a beer? A badge of manly dignity. So what do I do when I bend and I shave my head off? I'm not supposed to. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. They were Forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. Where's that written? Where's that written? Let's see. Really, 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 really. Exactly. Just read it. Just read it to you. I don't know exactly what verse by those. But Benedict is 21 and 5. We can't shave our beard, bro. You're supposed to be shaving your beard. So you never shave your beard? No, bro. You we never. can trim our beard. I don't cut, I don't mar the corners of I my beard, beard, bro. I, I no, 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 You're no. You trying to no. say this is shit. You destroy it. Give me uh, Leviticus 19, 27. I, nah, I want Yeah, uh. So if yep. I'm out here killing people and I got a beard. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. A beard doesn't make you righteous, brother. So keeping a beard, keeping a beard and applying the rest of the commandments, that's what makes you righteous, brother. Right. That's Come right. On. You should not, you shall not round the corners of your head. You shall not round the corners of your head. Come on. Neither shall thou mark 
the corners of thy beard. To me, tomorrow means destroy your natural line. You're not supposed to destroy the natural line of your beard. You're digging all into your beard. You're shaving off the corners of your beard. Why did God have to tell us this coming out of Egypt? Yeah, why, why because these were customs that we learned in Egypt. Right. These are customs that we learned from the heathen nations. God said, come out of that, bruh. We can't deal like that. He said, grow your beard. Grow your dog on hair. When Haman, when Haman came and saved Haman half of the day from his beard, and he shaved their dog on uh, Ben's half and ripped their pants down and showed their buttocks, he said, you need to turn in Jericho to your beard grow back. Right. Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. You break one of the least commandments. And shall teach a man so. And you teach a man so many. If you shave your beard and you walk around, you actually teach a man that it's okay to shave your beard. So I teach a man so. so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Meaning you're going to die. You're not making it to the kingdom. That's right. <laughs> so, the reason why God told the Israelites to have beards is so they can distinguish them from other nations. Right. Well, why did, why did he tell them? Because he says. Because he says. Right. So, just because God said so, saying, just because yeah. God said so, right. Therefore, the Israelites did it. Right. But if you read some history, didn't like you, some, some were like you, yeah. some didn't do it. If you read history, it shows you that God specifically told them to do certain things to distinguish them from other nations. No, God knows his people. Yeah. What are you talking about? He don't no, need to no, distinguish them. He, he didn't want them to be like people. the other nations. He exactly. Yeah, he didn't want them to be so so like, like, like the other nations. nations. That's why he told them to so, that. But you're being like the other nations. It doesn't matter. You're being like the other nations. It does matter. Oh, you got it? I'm show you Proverbs 31. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. It doesn't matter. Envy thou not the oppressor. That's envy. You're envying the oppressor. And, and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. Who's Don't do what he's doing. Who's the oppressor? Who, that's a good question. That's yeah. a very good that's, question. That's Who's the, the oppressor? Who's the oppressor? You guys are going to say white people are mad. Who's oppressing us right now? Yeah. Okay. There's racism, okay? Who's, no, I ain't talking about racism. Okay. Racism just means you're for your people. Uh, All nations should be for their people. Be. Let's deal with their oppressing. Okay. Who's oppressing you right now? I'm, yeah. Don't tell me what I'm going to say. Okay. I'm asking you what you're going to say. Because I'm not going to say white I don't people. know. I don't know. I don't know a damn white person walking this earth. That's I'm not going to say white people. Okay. You t I'm asking you. What you just you mentioned this question. I said, I'm asking you to said, answer the question. Who's the oppressor? I don't know. Are we not oppressed? Are we not oppressed? I'm asking you. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I want you to tell You don't know the plight of your people? You don't know the conditions of your people? You're a Bible scholar for 10 years. You're supposed to be a prophet of God. You don't know the plight of your people? You don't know what's going on around you? who's oppressed. You don't know who's going on around you? I know black people are oppressed, but I want you to tell me. You know that they're oppressed. Who are they oppressed by? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. You say you know that they're According oppressed. According to y'all's doctrine, white Stop. people are the oppressed. Oh, we're talking. In regards to what you just said, you know that black people are oppressed. Yeah, okay, I know, yeah. Stop talking about doctrine. I'm talking to you never met me before. I'm talking to you first time ever. Yeah. You said, I would say white people are this, that, and the third. You just said black people are oppressed. Yeah. Who are they oppressed? I don't know. By? I, I will say, right, pause, listen, pause, I, was, pause. I will say, are we oppressed as the people? Who are we oppressed by? I will say, the system. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Huh? Other people. What other people? What other people? They what other nations? They're going to say white people. No, we're going to say all nations outside of the children of Israel. Right. You want to know why? Because all nations had us in slavery at one point or another. That's, That's right. The, the so called white man of Caucasian, he just had the last bit of slavery that we went through. Right. All nations had us in captivity. Right. That's why this has to take place. Revelation 13 and 10. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. We are isolating out. our enemies. We know who our enemies are, but we're going to help you out. Come on. Ain't that little into captivity. That man, that nation that led us into captivity mm -hmm. shall go into captivity. They're going to go into captivity. Mm -hmm. That's what God says. We know who led us into captivity. The Chinese had us in slavery. The Arabs had us in slavery. The Africans had us in slavery. Right. The so-called Caucasians or white men or whatever you want to call them. Right. They're Edomites according to the Bible. Right. They had us in slavery. All nations had us enslaved. Right. And every nation that we were in, we built that nation of drinks. Right. Because we're the salt of the earth. We That's make everything right. taste and look better. Come on. He that killed us with the sword. And those people that killed us with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is judgment. God ain't gonna have respect the persons in regards to who did this to us. He's killing all of them that did that to us. Right. You're going right. into captivity, you're going into captivity. Right. If you kill us with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. Right. That's, the weapon. That's the patience. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is the patience and faith that we have as saints of God. Right. This is the patience that we have. 
So everybody that led the Israelites into captivity yep. was going into captivity. Right? Yep. Facts. So even other black people, facts. Either other black people, facts. Yeah. So, yeah. so who don't 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 distinguish. You're not Israelite by by skin color, brother. Don't confuse it. I don't know what doctor you listen to. Don't confuse it. You're an Israelite by blood. That's what right. makes you an Israel. It's right. the lineage that you descend from but that how makes do you an know, Israel. Here's what I don't understand. We're gonna help you out. How do you know that these Number particular 18. nations no. are the tribes of Israel? Uh, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 33. Genesis 49. Proven throughout history that that wasn't even relating to. That's uh, that's that's not that's not accurate. That's not an accurate statement. Though. Yeah, give me numbers. When numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. and they declared their pedigree. Their what? Pedigree. Their bloodline or lineage. After their families. By the house of their father. So you are who your father is. So you go back, trace your lineage back to your father's lineage. Give me, uh, yeah. What page is this? I want to, I, I want to read, I want to read this. This is your scholars. Your scholars. Where y'all reading from? The Edomites. Huh? So where y'all reading from? The Edomites. We're reading for everybody. They write things in books. They write things in these books so they, they remember. How you know they don't know the sheep? It don't matter. Cause we can back that up with the Bible. That's right. We just use books to co-sign. That's it. Cause niggas don't believe nothing we say. That's right. That's why we read from their books. Yeah. To show them, you look, your precious, the, the ones you think is Jesus, your precious savers who you don't think is oppressing you. Bring it out. This is what they're saying. Woo. This is from Origins of American Indians by Lee E. Huddleston. The Mexicans are originally of the ten tribes captured by Salamanca. That's in the Bible. And of the family of Issachar. That's in the Bible. Of whom the Indians recognize as their special ancestors. That's in the Bible. That's corroborated by them speaking Hebrew when they came over here. Right. Right. You can watch Fox News, clip CNN, it's all over that meat. But guess what? We can prove it in the Bible. Prove that in the Bible. That's Instacart. Let's prove Instacart in the Bible. So how do you, first of all, how do you even know that source is correct? How do you even know they correct? They could be flawed. Because we know the Bible they, is they correct. They could be disproved. We know the Bible is correct. You can't disprove this. Yeah, but you can't can disprove. disprove I don't care what you can disprove. You, I, it's obviously you missed what I said initially. I said we verify everything in regards to the Bible. And then we bring in books because dumb niggas don't like to hear what we got to say more to the Bible. So we just use that to cosign but how do you what know, the Bible is saying. How do you know that Edomite didn't deceive you by writing that? I don't care. Look. I learned the understanding before I even read this damn book about the Edomite doing anything. Mm -hmm. right. I don't I don't care what they have to say. Them niggas like you, they care what, what, what they gotta say. No, I don't I care. Don't. I'm only reading that to you because you won't listen to men, your own brothers. You won't listen to the mouth of God. You gotta listen to your Edomite, your old, old person. That's what you listen to. No, I don't I don't listen to you. Genesis, chapter 49, verse 14. It's a car. It's a strong ass. Couching down between two verses. They what? It's a cross. It's a strong ass. Couching down between two verses. Uh, uh, it's a cross. It's a strong ass. You know the ass is right? What's the ass? It's a It says couched down between two verses. So the verses, what, what are the verses? The verses are heavy loads. They lift the heavy loads. Couch down between, between two verses. You ever seen a, um, I was watching a clip probably like three or four years ago where it was a donkey just going uphill. With these big old bushels of like, I don't know, it was hay or something. It was something on their sides walking up the steep hill. So it says, it's called it's an ass, council between two burgers, right? Mm -hmm. Come on. And he saw that rest was good. And he saw that rest was a good thing. Um, so who, who does laborious backbreaking work today? What they should I'm asking you. Don't, don't, don't. I don't know. Why are you anticipating what I'm going to say? I'm asking you. Because you got it written on here. I'm asking you, brother. Because I don't know. I mean, well, okay. You don't Mexico, know? The Mexicans. They do oh, backbreaking work. They do laborers backbreaking work. What other nation works harder than them? Black people. Don't work harder than them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we don't. That's a lie. I don't know. Who other the nation? I'm asking you. I don't know. Because they don't exist. Because yeah. so, the prophecy so has to be true. Just, just because they do back breaking work, that's it not, relates that's, to them. That's not it. That's not it. You're not done. I just stopped to ask you a question. So they do back breaking, laborious work. Who came up with siestas? Siestas. You know what siesta is? At about 5 o'clock? Like 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12
they, they stop. You got to. You're doing back breaking labor's work, but you stop. I want you to Google Siesta when you get home. Right. See who came up with that. Come on. Verse 15. And he saw that rest was good. He saw that rest was good. Come on. And the land, that it was pleasant. What did uh, Columbus and them say when they saw that land? What did the Conquistas do say when they saw it? When they saw Mexico. When they go there. What did he say? It was, it was decked out, bro. We got pictures of, of what it looked like. And their first thought was, man, a hundred souls, we can kill all of them. Because they were so hospitable, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So going back in the history, we understand that that landmass called Mexico is not where it sits right now. It came all the way up to the United States, California, all those, all those adjoining places. And it was very beautiful. It was some of the best weather. And the land that it was pleasant. So the land was very pleasant. Come on. And bowed his shoulder to bear. So he bowed his shoulder to bear. And became a servant. And, now, and now they're servant for, for tribute pennies. They're servant for pennies. So they work, they do hard back working laborers work. They serve for nothing. What nation is that? That's the Mexican. Okay. That's the Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh, that's 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 it does. I'm going to tell you the reason why. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because anybody, <laughs> any other nation that you hard back breaking work, work can be Issachar. No. Why can't they? Because that's not the only thing. They, they, look, they don't fall, the other nations don't fall under the curse of the so called Mexicans fall under the curse. So it goes deeper. I just gave you an example. I just gave you one example as to how we know. How the Bible reveals who these people are. First Chronicles, chapter 12 and verse 32. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all the brethren were at their commandment. So who came up with And they and their masters in astrology, you know the times, the signs of the times, the direction. Okay? That the system, the system of uh, counting the years and things like that, it was so meticulous they can't be replicated, even today. They can't even be replicated. Give me Genesis 49, start at verse 1. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons. Is this the last days? I believe it's the last days. Yes, it's the last days. No, but I can speak up again. And said, Gather yourselves together. Let me show you how this is the last days. That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. God said, Gather yourself together, children of Israel. I'm going to show you what's going to fall you in the last days. So you're going to be, these attributes that I, I, I list out to you, you're going to be exhibiting those attributes. These things right here that I write, that I write, this is what you're going to be doing in the last days. So what we just read in Genesis 49 and 14, that's what this is about doing in the last days as a nation. As a nation. What other nations? I, I don't know any other nation doing it, but. So I want you to do that research before you even try to rebut. If you don't know, you need to research that. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.